Council for a fair Senate and generous check uh, to help us in the garden, but also Dr. Wa'afuri, who served as a board chair. And they wrote me a nice letter saying he's been a leader, bad supporter, and dear friend to the council board members. So, Wa'i, thank you for your service. Not in here, but anyway, thank you. Uh, next, uh, the artist, Leila Khouri, is going to talk about the statue. Leila, please come. Let me know if I need to speak up. <laughs> Hope everyone can hear me. Um, you'll have to pardon my nerves also. Um, I have to say, a majority of who is right in front of me supported the sculpture in a way that I couldn't have done otherwise without. And I can't emphasize enough how grateful I am for the support of the community when doing this, especially having just been in college when it was being done. Um, and I have to thank my father because he helped me select a creative figure from Syria who is unanimously adored among the community. And I know that his generation, the generation of my parents, had a very special relationship with Kabani, having seen many of his readings in person and enjoying his stay in Cleveland when I was only a toddler. I know that he was here and met with many of you, and I know that that relationship is very special for that reason. It would be my biggest hope that my generation could also have a creative role model in that similar way. Like I said, having only been in college, this was one of the most exciting endeavors that I've ever personally had in my life, being able to do this. It was a dream working on this out of a studio in Cleveland and having constant contact with the community along the way. Um, the idea came into fruition with the help of many, many members in the community and their feedback. And a professor from MICA, where I went to school in Baltimore, who actually studied sculpture at Case Western University, was a very close mentor of mine, and his name was Robert Kopsky. And I also worked closely with Cleveland Studio Foundry, who did the bronze casting of the piece, and who has done the casting of many of the public artworks that you'll see in Cleveland and in the gardens and working closely side by side with them over the course of the year was an incredible learning process and their work is truly remarkable. So this was modeled in Cleveland, like I said, so I felt a close kinship with the gardens while it was in its creation and considered the landscape of its site while modeling the poet and considering his words and his livelihood in the process of making the sculpture. I refrained from sculpting it in a way that was too formal or too traditional in the same way that he refrained from writing in a traditional structure, if that makes sense. I wanted it to be a reflection of his style of poetry and I hope that I've achieved that. If anybody is interested, I've recently opened a gallery in Cleveland 78th Street Studios in the Garden Square area where I have a body of sculpture that is slightly different from this, although I would love to continue doing figurative work. And if anybody is interested, please let me know. Visits are always welcome. And I hope everyone has a beautiful time today. Thank you all for coming.